Yo, what's up, y'all? Punk has it. Hey, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part 8 of our Let's Play and Gameplay walkthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. Like usually, we like to proceed exactly where we left off on the previous part. That means you're definitely never gonna miss out on any single thing that is related to games or game content, and especially in this playlist that is Cyberpunk 2077. Um, we are right now back in our uh, apartment. And let's say we have the ghost of Christmas past asshole in our fucking mind right now. So we are proceeding into that aspect and see where the story is leading us. We met uh, Johnny Silverhand, uh, a lot of unique characters from uh, the beautiful Judy, Evelyn, Dexter, Shaw, and just name it. I just love details um, of the battle we had in the previous episode. It's still lingering actually on the screen itself. It's quite cool when that's the done. So I do recommend you if you're new to the channel and you're watching it of course through this chapter um, I'll say sit back relax and go and check yourself the previous chapter I have to say the look right now that I'm having right now is quite it's nice I like this look uh, I don't know what it is it has something it's very unique <laughs> But we're gonna make sure that our queen here is just a little bit appropriate uh, to the battle itself <laughs> Let's see what we got um, Let's see what kind of gear set we have right now that we can uh put together so we got a little bit more uh, offensive and defensive capacity right now you know it was still a good look <laughs> if you disagree let me know in the comments <laughs> all right i think we have uh way too much weapons right now we uh managed to scrap along left and right so we're gonna disassemble a lot of them and uh, just pick a weapon. Uh, let me, uh, um, now let me inspect my character first. So I'm going for a Netrunner build and something um, between Netrunner and Tech and Cooldown. So I want to be an assassin, wield different form of tech weapons, and of course uh, uh, do a lot of uh, cybernetic uh, warfare in every single level. It's not directly a Lucy build from Edge Runner, but something a little differently, something a little bit more edgy. Um, hopefully, something unique that is not seen yet in the community itself. So we're gonna try something differently and see uh, if it works out. An in-game level, of course. I think right now um, we are just uh, taking all different form of specs and see what is most crucial. Junk and disassemble is also nice to have. I think I have everything I need now. I can disassemble and get myself some components while doing so. It's always handy to have. So let's take out every single thing that we don't need, that we don't need to be overrun too much. I got a few legendary items and so make sure I don't take them out. All, all the normal stuff, you can of course gonna take this shit out. All right, it's, it's good for now. Uh, we have got some of the ammo to the take, and then we have all the side mission optional done. Tajibra here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Dida. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Dyer, I am waiting. I got to say one thing is that this game is absolutely astonishingly beautiful. So far into an entire playlist we haven't seen a lot of game breaking bugs. So fingers crossed um, this game is truly immersive. Not only because I love Edge Runner itself because of the manga enthusiast, but this game is absolutely insanely beautiful. I'll put everything together I'm absolutely sold. I'm a very first playthrough in this game I'm seriously very very sold. <laughs> Into this game, uh, um, collect 
Yo reward. Now we're gonna take another side quest. We're gonna focus first on the main mission. And during the live streams, we're gonna do all those uh, side missions here. And the live stream itself. Give us something to do on the live streams. Uh, because I wanna separate the the content between my main um, let's play and gameplay walkthrough that's gonna focus on myself of course on the main missions and the key side missions that is um, to enrich the lore and the uh, connection between Eevee and the different form of character left and right like Judy's, Johnny Silver, Johnny Silver and, and all the different NPCs we might find left and right to enrich our playthrough and the side missions of course we're gonna do in the let's plays as well and all the rest of the content is gonna be of course for a live stream so we try to separate them a little bit so we have an uh, overall feeling and tendency um, a little bit different so keep a little bit the, the content uh, engaging and of course uh, keep the content a little bit more fresh every single time that you go online and go and check it out of course and if you do like that aspect definitely let me know uh, on this course or in the comments down below so i think we're almost there actually yeah. Takumura. That's a, that's a nice course. Better than the one we have before from Regina. <laughs> the leveling design, man. Absolutely stunning. So, another thing I need to remind you guys the entire walkthrough, of course, is going to be uh, made in full 4K and full max settings. So, you're gonna truly going to enjoy the visual aspect in this game. Set. Uh, like you've never seen before. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings, by lunch that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink, period. Hmm. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. B, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think? They'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain... Procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. 
I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help, best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one, no alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. 
You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Hey, look. Oh, Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Maybe ask him. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't mean to. Old damn cities. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't have you. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Alright, now at least we have two objectives that we need to meet. We need the creator of this uh, virus in my damn fucking head. And we need to go and meet the beautiful Judy. But first off, we need to try to hijack the damn fucking car. Stop! Go on. <laughs> See it, look at him go! Yo, free! Holy shit. That's, that's cool. At least the AI is a little bit more interactive now. Then. I'm gonna take this one. This is my very first fancy car. Alright. Get the fuck out. The camera aspect, how to get in the car is a little bit weird, but whatever. We can accept what it is. Look at my fancy ass fucking mobile, you know. We're getting there. We have to start low, get high. You know? Every, every legend started somewhere. <laughs> so, and by the time we finish, we're gonna have some. Some real fancy shit going on. But we have to start somewhere, you know. We have to start low and go high. That's 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 the rule of life. We have to build up, work yourself up to the top. And that's what we're doing. Before. Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chief. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Start again. What is it you want to do? Read 
beat some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know. Use lead. I, I don't care. I just want my room back. Your pimp blew you out, that is? joy toy you need to come here the hell i'm supposed to do with them all you're so concerned about strays go take care of your guest Sus, we're not done here oh yeah we fucking are you just don't give up do you what was that all about everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble and either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Name's B. And what? No pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. I just fucking love cruising in this world, man. How everything looks absolutely stunning. Just stunning, stunning, stunning. So we need to go now to um, Mega Building H8. So a quest to find Evelyn. Hopefully she's alright to go. Well, I like her as an NPC to be honest. And as a character. She has a very unique uh, look around her. So definitely go and check it. So you we'll keep us up up to be all in the story. Uh, just look at this game, man. Look at this. Uh, I think it's called a Zeppelin. 
very, very beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Let's look at that thing. This is probably the, the most astonishing beautiful game from a world design. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I think we're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. Ooh, nicey. Kako Okada, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. The way I see it, the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arisaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. But unfortunately for us, fam, if I'm seeing the time wise we are running right now, the mark is the end of this episode moving forward to if comes to um, cyberpunk 2077 but also means like we like to do within the channel itself we like to proceed exactly where we left on on the previous episode so the next episode we're gonna start right here so that means do not forget to subscribe yourself to the channel hit the notification bell smash that like button and of course i'll see you every single one of you guys on the next episode as we are proceeding and discovering this beautiful world that is cyberpunk 2077 I'm your host, Dipon Curses. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. My love. Always. Peace. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for.